My cat just jumps into my lap when I'm trying to record. What are you doing? What are you doing? What are you doing? Tell them what you did. <laughs> Sorry, Peach. Sorry. Hello and welcome back, my beautiful froggy army, to another video. So, now that we have this island all planned, and if you didn't see that video, go watch it because there's a lot of relevant information that I will be referencing. Also, my cat is climbing all over my desk right now. Anyway, so now that we have this island all planned and ready to go, I'm thinking it's time to get some work done. It is time to start laying our foundation. I just want to like have like a nice kind of chill time, just like... I don't know, doing that, that basic stuff that you gotta start out with. Moving your flowers, clearing stuff. I should probably start breeding some flowers. I don't even know if I have yellow hyacinths, which I desperately need. I definitely need to grab some items from like my other island from uh, Storybrooke, from Leapfrog. This is Storybrooke. Oh, and by the way, the full name of this island, if I could fit it in the characters, I would have. But the full name is Storybrooke Farms, okay? Because it's going to be a farmland. But yeah, I just thought I would let you guys know because I never call it Storybrooke Farms. I always just call it Storybrooke. But technically, in my heart and my mind, it's Storybrooke Farms. I also, I know, I know I'm still in a freaking wetsuit with no eyebrows. The outfit is coming soon. I just keep procrastinating it because I'm actually making my own outfit this time. So yeah, I promise it's coming soon. I did post a sneak peek on my community page if you're interested to know what it's going to look like. But if you want it to be a surprise, then don't look. But anyway, I didn't even say what we're going to be doing. Um, I kind of want to start working on the entrance. I have like my little planning guide pulled up on my other monitor. I want to start making the paths and, you know, like moving some trees, uh, make some fences, stuff like that. I definitely need to stock up on items and everything, like I was saying, but today's not that day. Today I feel lazy. <laughs> oh look, I do have one yellow hyacinth. That's good. That's good. That's good. And I was also considering keeping this little pond. I think it's really, really cute. It'll just be like a little pond in the middle of like little fields that I'm going to put over here. So I think that'll be cute. So I think I'm going to keep it. I'll at least see what it looks like. Okay, let's get rid of this rock. I probably... I probably should have gotten the resources from that, shouldn't I? I guess let's check our mail too. Let's not, let's not have this beeping. Oh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. You know, that's a lot of stuff that I don't really want to deal with. What is, what's mom sending us? I'm sure it's something good. I'm sure it's something spectacular that I really need right now. A backpack. Oh yeah, she knows me. I need a place to put all of my freaking jelly-filled donuts, okay? Oh, I want a donut so bad right now. <laughs> I want a donut so bad. But okay, I'm gonna go ahead and start putting this um, path. So I'm not sure if I wanna do like just this dark dirt like all the way down and maybe do custom designs on top of it. Or if I wanna do my little like path custom design that I have, this one. I think this is really cute and it's pretty similar in like color to the actual in-game path. I do wanna use a lot of in-game path on this island, but I just... I don't know. I just cannot decide. How do you guys make these decisions? I wish I had like a button that just made the decision for me. I think I'm gonna go with the in-game pathing for now, especially because I just don't- I don't have the little custom design tool for this, so that's gonna be a pain. So actually, out of like laziness, I'm just gonna do the in-game path, and I can always change this later. I mean, my very first entrance, I'm sure, is not gonna be like the final final entrance i i like never do that i always change my entrance like 50 gazillion times come here be something good be something farm core place your best now is it gonna be something farm core let's see nope that's hardwood is it something farm core basket pack i feel like that could be farm core maybe i'm just gonna go around this rock because i feel like destroying two in one day is kind of like overkill you know okay so there's our little path, cute. And then I definitely want some fencing. So let's see what fencing we can make. Oh, I don't have any fencing recipes. That seems too terrible to be true. Okay, there's not even good farm core fencing. 
No, how am I supposed to do this? Ooh, silo. Okay, well that kind of throws a wrench in my plans. I need some freaking fencing for my entrance that I want to make. Guys, Tom Boots, how are you? Doing fine, I see. Looking good. Have you finished reading this book yet? No? All right, well, keep at it, buddy. Keep at it. Okay, I think I've officially decided that I need to get more stuff before I can finish this entrance. I was like, oh yeah, I'll just record like the video of me doing my entrance. That's so easy. I need like nothing. Um, when in fact I, I do, I do need things actually, Raven. Um, you need things for that. So instead I'm going to switch gears and we're going to do a little bit of terraforming, which doesn't require any items. So I hope you guys don't mind, but that's what we're going to work on next. So this river is going to stay mostly the same. I still want it to run across like it does here, but instead of continuing like into this like three, three fork kind of river, um, I do want it to like eventually just kind of like meet with like another waterfall but that just requires me having the actual terraforming done. So we're gonna get started on that. Beardo is out here enjoying a donut. <gasps> he knew I wanted a donut. You knew. And you decided to eat one in front of my face like that. It even has chocolate glaze. See, this is why I'm an enemy of Beardo because he does stuff like this. He pulls things like this. You know what you're doing. Look at the way he's like looking in my eyes. He's like taunting me. He knows I want that. Oh my goodness. Anyways, I'm going to start clearing this out, clearing all these trees because on my little island planner map thingy, I want to have a bunch of cliffs back here. So we're going to get started on that. I'm just going to pick all this fruit. We are going to have like an orchard here in this little section. Um, this little section between like the river and this, the back of the island so that's where the orchard is gonna go i'm excited on leapfrog i did actually leave the back part flat for the most part and i took advantage of like these rocks and everything which that's a lot of real estate actually i want the cliffs i want the pretty cliffs so we have to make sacrifices i wish i could sacrifice you i'm gonna just start extending this a little bit that's I said extend, stop! Extend! Do you not know the meaning of extend? I don't know, should I also leave like one space to walk back here? I feel like I should. It's just kind of like spicy, you know? So, I'm kind of glad that Beardo's house is here, and that's the only time you will hear me say that. Because if I were to put someone's house here, which I'm kind of considering doing, it's already here. So I kind of know like where should I stop these cliffs and like how I should build around the house. So I'm going to leave like these two tiles and I'm going to make sure to leave enough space to, you know, leave like a little yard and everything like that. So I'm just going to do this and let me also round this corner. You know, it's probably a good thing that I'm wearing my wetsuit because like imagine doing sweaty terraforming like outdoor work in like my cute little farm court outfit. Like at least the, the wetsuit absorbs the sweat and I'm not going to be, you know, getting dirty in my beautiful outfit. I feel like this is a good, a good compromise. Whenever you change into like the terraforming app and you get the hard hat on, they should automatically put you in a wetsuit. It just makes the most sense. Okay, so I'm liking this and I want to make sure that this isn't just, you know, like a huge flat um straight edge so i'm gonna do this i'm going to just kind of like make a little opening and just kind of like round that off just just so there's something just some interest i don't know i'm gonna have to destroy that rock aren't i when i literally just said destroying two rocks in one day was overkill uh let's just get this over with sorry rock i'm also not sure how far i want to bring this out because of my little uh little map planner here I do have some terraforming on top of this cliff, so it needs to be big enough to have additional cliffs on top. And we got some little waterfalls and stuff, so it's gotta be big enough for that for sure. I'm just gonna go until it like looks cute and then we'll try to like work on the top 
and see what we can do. And then while we're doing this, I just wanted to remind you guys there's only a couple of days left for the limited edition Froggy Crossing hats in my merch shop, the I Love Frog um, cap and beanie. There's only a few days left. The campaign ends on May 13th, so once it ends, then they're gone and you'll never be able to get them again. So I would definitely recommend if you haven't picked one up already and you do want one, I would definitely snag it sooner rather than later. But thank you guys for all the support on the merch launch. Uh, I, I feel so good about it. It's been really great. So thank you so much for all the support. And if you bought something already, then all of my love, take it, it's yours. But yeah, thank you guys so much. I know that you guys would let me have a donut and you wouldn't just eat one in front of me. Yeah, I'm talking about you. Whatever, Beardo. You know what? I'm so over you. You're getting kicked off anyways. Okay, so another dilemma is this little pond over here. I want to have an orchard, so do I build the orchard around the pond? You know, Beardo, what? Okay, man's just stood up and then sat right back down. Anyway, do I build this orchard like around the pond? Should I keep it? Like, it's really cute. Um, it's kind of like smack dab in the middle of like the section that I want to have for the orchard, so I don't really know. Now he's putting his back to me. Okay, you're so rude, Beardo. Oh my goodness. I'm literally so over him. All right, we're looking good, we're looking good. Cause how I want it to work is I want this river to be cut off right there at those cliffs, just like that. So imagine, you know, everything to the right here is just not water. I want all of that to be filled in and then kind of like on the right side of resident services, probably like right here, um, if this house wasn't in the way, I want to have like a little path, right? And then I want to have an incline going up here in this direction. And then that goes up to those cliffs over there. And then, you know, the cliffs, these are the cliffs that we're working on now. That's going to go, that's going to curve, you know, anyway, I don't know if I'm doing a good job at explaining this. It's probably a little bit more detailed and visualized on my planning video. So yeah, go check that out. If you can, uh, if you don't know what I'm trying to say, even I don't know what I'm trying to say at any given moment, any day of the week or month or year. I low-key kind of missed like terraforming and waterscaping. Like, I don't know, I tend to just do all of this near the beginning of my island and then I don't really do too much of it near the end and stuff like that. So, so now that I've been wrapping up my uh, Kidcore Island, I've definitely been missing it for sure, for sure. This feels very nice nice and refreshing at least for now i'm sure it's gonna start to get annoying at some point but i'm gonna appreciate it while i can <laughs> we can go ahead and extend this and then yeah i want there to be a waterfall right here and it doesn't really make sense or no it kind of does this this water is what's pushing this river out into the ocean i guess but yeah this is definitely gonna be just like a pretty a pretty big base like a foundation like definitely don't think of this as the finished product um it's a lot of tweaking i gotta do on the cliffs and everything i really do want to work hard on the cliffs this time around and i know i said that about leapfrog i think i'm pretty sure i said that about leapfrog that i wanted to have like a pretty map and cliffs and stuff and i didn't end up doing that so this time i'm telling myself that's what i want and that's what i'm going to strive towards and that's what i'm going to work on if I could freaking build the cliffs instead of destroy them, that would be the perfect first step. Let's climb up here and don't, don't talk to Becky. Don't talk to Becky. Okay, so here we're gonna have our big waterfall. And this is gonna be what's driving all this all this river water into the ocean, like I was saying. Beardo is still in the back there taunting me with the donut. Rude, rude bear, rude man. This is looking good. I, I guess we could start with this second level, see if this is going to be good enough. So my idea here is to have this be like a really pretty like walkway. Of course, I have to fix this terraforming, but imagine we go up that incline I was talking about earlier, okay? We're walking and oh, there's, there's cliffs right here and this is further back. <laughs> and we just have like a really pretty walkway that we walk around and then... Um, we just come over here and there's some waterfalls right here. Or actually, I'm I'm kind of second guessing the waterfalls because where are they gonna go? Like they're gonna be in the back of the orchard. I don't really know. So we can at the very least work on 
the second level that I definitely want to be in this like little right angle here. So I want it to be something like this, you know, that kind of like hugs these little curves and everything that are already here. So I want this area to be pretty full of trees. I want it to be like a little like pretty nature walk with like beehives and butterflies everywhere. So I definitely do need a lot of space because we're gonna have trees and you know these freaking trees needs so much room away from the cliffs otherwise they just oh, they just simply can't be there this is a lot of hard work and you know the fact that beardo won't even like share his donut with me for all the hard work and like labor i'm doing like talk about not appreciative this is why i'm kicking him out it's 5 p.m for me right now and i'm starting to get pretty hungry i usually eat at like 6 30 so i'm getting pretty hungry i think we're gonna have chicken nuggets and rice but we're gonna put we found this like what is it called panda express orange chicken like sauce at the grocery store so what we've been doing our little hack <laughs> is we get like chicken nuggets that are like like those air fryer chicken nuggets like or air fried chicken nuggets so we get those and we cover them with the sauce and have rice and it's almost like we're having orange chicken from panda express and it's just gonna be so good and i'm just like craving it so bad right now like you know when you're gonna have like a really good dinner and you're just like really looking forward to it all day i'm that's that's my feeling right now that's the vibe so now that summer is coming up upon us and it's consistently 80 plus degrees every single day at least where I am. Thanks, Florida. Uh, what are you guys getting up to over the summer? Summer has always been, I don't know, at least when you're a kid, it's always like, oh, summer vacation, you know? Summer break for me always had like specific things we would do. So we would like go to the library all the time during the summer. Um, Cause I would always have like a summer reading thing that my school would make me do, which is like, why would you make me read over the summer? I mean, I was a little nerdy kid and I loved it, so I'm not gonna complain too much. But we would always go to the library and the library would always do stuff. So that was always kind of fun. Like, I don't know, they would have like little crafts or whatever. And sometimes they would have like free lunches. So we would get to eat little free lunches. And I still remember how the bread tastes. I still remember. <laughs> we had a family friend who had a mango tree in their backyard but no one in their family liked mangoes so she would always you know dish out the mangoes to people including us because we really liked it me and my mom and my grandma and some of my siblings really like mangoes so summer was always mango season and we would get those bags of fresh fresh off the tree mangoes and i would always make like some milkshakes with them i would say smoothie a mango milkshake sounds kind of weird because i think of like a chocolate milkshake and having like a mango milkshake sounds weird but i made it with ice cream and i made it with milk so i think that counts as a milkshake those are like the best mangoes that exist in this world i swear i don't think i've had a mango that tastes as good as those specific mangoes from our family friend's backyard I ever yeah i don't think i've ever had a mango as good i don't even bother to buy store-bought mangoes anymore because they taste disgusting to me they taste so bad and they're all like stringy so summer to me i just think of the library i think of mangoes those were the froggy crossing summers so all my little like planning map thingy this specific cliff doesn't even come close to this waterfall but i think I'm gonna bring it all the way and I'm gonna make it a two-tier waterfall. Okay, so I'm thinking let's make a, like a little mini pond. I feel like that'll be so cute. And we'll have like another tiny waterfall like right here where I'm standing, that cliff. And then we'll have it pour onto this pond and then we'll have the pond go into that big waterfall that we already did, which goes into the river, which goes into the ocean. Okay, this is hard. This is hard to make this look nice i'm gonna go ahead and put this waterfall up here just so i can like get an idea of what things are looking like okay so there's that let's climb back down like i really wanted to make it like rounded but it doesn't look like it's shaping up to be that way i don't know i mean this is kind of good i feel like that's that's already decent i just want like a little stepping stone right there i feel like that's so cute i think it's cute Maybe we can put this one space further down. Cute, I like that. Okay, so there's like our little waterfall 
kind of thing. Let's see how we're, let's see how we're looking on the map. How is the map looking? So probably right where that little lake is, is where I'm going to want to like cut it off. Cause I don't want this terraforming to be one big mass. I want there some, to be some, some space between. So I'll probably cut it off right there. And then near the top right of like this area that we're working on, I will go run up to it really quick. So here's this little terraforming thing we're working on. So kind of like up here ish and I want to indent this more. I want to take away more of this. Um, I want to have like another like curved little space. So that way when we walk up from the incline that I will eventually put, but I want it to be like a little winding path, you know, then we go over here and then, oh, it curves. So we got to go over here and I just want the terraforming to like guide you, you know, to be your nature guide, basically. <laughs> this has taken me an hour. I don't know how it's taken me an hour already. So yeah, that's looking good looking good definitely need to make some improvements so yeah i'm gonna end it there but we got a lot done i really hope you enjoyed hanging out with me um i'll probably work on terraforming a lot over like streams and stuff so if you like to see the terraforming i would definitely recommend coming to the streams i stream at 4 p.m est on mondays so definitely tune in so yeah we will keep working on this section and i'm gonna go get stuff to actually work on my entrance sorry for kind of baiting you about working on my entrance but yeah i need to like stock up a little bit on items and stuff so we got to get that going anyways i'm gonna get going i'm so hungry thank you so much for watching i really appreciate it and i will see you in the next one